Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I know there's a lot of guys at home in various places that need to know how to do this. You really need to know how to do it. But you gotta have all the right tools. If you don't have all the right tools, solder tips, iron, do not attempt this. Number one, wash your hands. Your hands gotta be clean, no oil. If you're wondering how everything was cut, start watching my videos. Don't ask questions, start watching. Pay attention and you'll know how to do it. Okay, you see how far that's cut back. You see how far that's cut back. I don't know, it's just like the diameter means how much you have to cut back. Okay, see that? That's done exactly the same way as I'm gonna show you how to do this. Make sure there's no wind, there's no air, your bench is spotless, there's no dust flying around. You can't really do this outside. And this is going to be the best way you're going to solder wires together, period. If you don't, if you only have SAE wire and not AUG, don't even attempt it. If you can avoid splicing wires, do it. Replace it. Solder the ends on, replace the wire. Cost you a few bucks. That's what you want to do because you're going to have impedance bumps and loss. All right? Always replace with the quality materials. No Home Depot stuff. Nothing wrong with Home Depot, but they don't normally sell you know, the proper DC wire. One way to, to test and determine, well, if you have a voltage drop, is do a voltage drop test. Don't know how to do it? Look it up. Buy an ohmmeter. And or, you know, if you touch your crimped connectors or splices, and they're getting warm <laughs> that's bad either you screwed up and used the incorrect wire and connectors or you did a crimp job or you didn't solder them properly all right all right so this was cut like I explained in another video and I'll put some links to this I don't know that's just about the right length right there you can go longer but then you'll need more shrink tube all right Remember, my hands are clean, there's no dirt laying around, my iron's warm, my solder's right next to me. You don't need a lot of elaborate tools to do this, just the right stuff. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go like this, I'm going to fan it out. I'm not kinking them. Alright, that's it. And I'm not laying it in any dirt, dust, my hands are clean, oil free. And I'm trying to look through the camera at the same time. You don't want to bend any wires over, and you can't use wire cutters to do this. Watch the videos and see what I said how to do it. I'll try to hold this and see it all at the same time. Yeah, you can see it. And then try to feed it in. It's not going to go perfect. You just do the best you can. See what's going on? You don't want no balls or nothing. Nowhere. That would require a lot of solder then. And a lot of solder is not good. You want all the wires to be as close as possible. Okay. You see, the question that I get most often, right, is, Chala, how did you do it? Right? How did I go from earning minimum wage, working in a coffee shop, living in my mom's spare bedroom, and over $25,000 yeah. in a We need year, another video. Six, multiple six, Skip that. Seven figure per year income. I want to hear Clapton, man, not you, dude. Do, 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 yeah. Bad love. All right, that'll work. All right. So, you see how they're all together like this? That's what we've done. They're not all kinked and all kind of weird shit. They're like this, all nice and tight. I put a twist to it. Now, considering you already got your shrink tube in place, all right? It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's going to be a connection.
once you get it to that point you don't want to move it around very much you don't really want nothing touching it any metal will absorb the heat always that spotless iron make sure it's clean and wet see what we're doing here with the camera in the way. Yes, that's a lot of wire to heat up. solder not wasting it I, I am just showing this I see if you were outside or there was dirt flying around dust it would be absorbed into the solder plus the wind any kind of wind at all would be cooling the solder down like with being liquid cooled you know you don't want that. Try to keep the iron on it as much as possible. Don't let off. Yeah, it's getting hot. Notice the angle that I have the tip on, the iron. So the transference of heat goes straight into the wire itself. I'm not using the tip like straight down. I'm using that flat surface the best that I can. In this position, for this video okay let that cool a little bit yeah it's it's hot yeah I could have sat there and, and did some more all right now you just pull your shrink tube over that and then uh, be a done deal Hold on a second while I uh, do this. You make a mess. It's a pain in the ass to do that. You gotta have all the right tools, all the right type of solder. It's not cheap. If you can't do it, pay the piper. But when you're soldering your wires together, this is what it has to be like. Notice how the solder went all the way through. See it? Hope you learned something. If you did, click subscribe. Stay tuned in. You know who it is. Click, click.